What's going on? And like, sir is on TD, guys. Is this corny? PSA. What is happening? Is this if corny? you are from LA, do, do not anticipate to go into Toronto. I don't care if you are Brandy Norwood, Ray <laughs> J. Damn. Uh, Brandy LA, Kingo? If you are a, a Los Angeles Laker cheerleader, <laughs> it, it does not matter. If you are affiliated, if you are known yeah. with not just TDE, but if you have any great ties, like Snoop Dogg may not even be. And we see Snoop how Snoop did it. I don't know. Snoop is good Snoop everywhere. Good at the I don't know. Snoop I don't know. Drake mm. in Canada is yeah. a different territory. For sure. Okay? So, if he makes a call, or if somebody just knows he may feel the way, you might look at the nigga wrong. You might sneeze wrong. If you're from LA, I don't think you should take any trips or plan anything when it comes to going to get money across the border. Because clearly, y'all are not welcome. And clearly, you you probably should just say, you know what? I understand what this is. Yeah. I, I'm going to just leave it there. I think that money good in Toronto, yo. They be upset when they can't go to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> they be mad as hell, yo. Like, fuck. I it really... is a bordering country. It is. But it is. it's also sick. another country. Exactly. So it is technically international, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's a market that you do want to tap into, especially if you're a sir, especially if you're a schoolboy Q, yeah. right? Like, I think those are the type of artists where they're, they're in that mid tier where they're not the Kendrick Lamars, they're not the Drakes. Mm -hmm. um, so every single market, every single venue, every single show, every single fan, every single ticket sold, it matters that much more because I'm not the fucking J. Coles of the world. Bro. Mm -hmm. And they say that these shows were sold out. So for that to have to have that like rip thrown under you, of course it's frustrating. And on top <laughs> of the fact that though. they think like Drake did it, so they're like, what the fuck is going on? And I understand it, like as uh, Savon so eloquently said, like, see, Drake is the man over there. I get it. But dog, if people from Canada is coming to other cities like LA and being able to perform and play, like Party Next Door was just in LA. But all, the, all, the, all the Hoovers didn't click up, and, click up and go, yo, niggas from Toronto in this city, we about to shut that shit down. It's like, bro. Shit is music. Granted, now if it's Kendrick Lamar that say he coming. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I get it. No, no, I get it. Yeah. Annex that. Shut, shut that it, shit shut down. down. But can he? Well, to be fair. I think he can. Like a know. bit, because that's a big deal. Like, no offense to, you know, sir, I love sir, but like yeah. shutting down a sir show, I think it'll be way different than trying to shut down something that Kendrick Lamar wants to do in Toronto. I think Kendrick could pop out. I think he could. I think he could pop out. Yeah, yeah uh, Canada doesn't come off as New How King. He shouted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah think and yeah, I they were like supporting. That. They were. Yeah. They definitely were, and there are definitely some Kendrick fans in Toronto. And I think there's a factor that we're not playing. So like, when you say, yeah. "Oh, nobody ran down on Party Next Door," yeah, it's because Drake didn't win. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right? Like, but that's the corny Drake part. Didn't win. But that's the corny part about it. You're right. And you can't like if I'm Schoolboy Q, you were in the video for Not Like Us, right? <laughs> like you. He was on the stage when they stomped on this nigga's grave. Now, for sir, I don't know where he was when the pop-out took place. I don't know where he was. Yeah. I, I didn't see him. He wasn't visible to me. He is a he TDE. He's from Englewood. He, he's from Englewood, but not yeah. just that. He's also a TDE affiliate. You go on right. his Twitter, it's TDE in his bio. So... I get that affiliation, but Schoolboy Q, like, come on, did we really, like, I'll be really surprised, like, you was in the video, did we think, you was on the stage, yeah. we know where you stand, like, eh. but Did we think Schoolboy Q would go up there and play Not Like Us? No. I don't but think he would. You I, can't be mans with my enemy and come to my hood and get money. I get it. I totally get it. I, I've known adjacent scenarios like that. It's still fucking corny, though. I don't, I don't even think Drake had anything control behind this. I want to be clear. I do. I I, I think people assume that it wouldn't bode well. <laughs> and that if he found out and saw it, that they wouldn't like it, right? Like, I'm sure he ain't like seeing what DJ Scheme did over there. Like, I'm sure he's looking at his phone like, nah, not in Toronto. Hmm. I don't think he necessarily was like, yo, anything. Like, come on, y'all. Like, Drake has a lot to do. But his counterparts are known. I'm sure they would make those. Drake has a lot to do, but when you're that rich and famous and yeah. successful you really don't got that much to do <laughs> isn't that I, funny I, that works? Yeah, yeah i think he has <laughs> plenty of time to yeah. do all of the things that people are mm -hmm. alleging him or expect to him to do personally mm -hmm. like he is he's known to be petty mm -hmm. he got time to be on so a gordo petty. album we know he's tapped in we know he's on gordo's album we know he's yeah. on uh camilla cabela's album yeah. we know he, he like drake is 
I always say this, and I think we talked about this on the podcast before. Whenever I'm dating a woman, and she's like, "Oh my god, I love Drake," and I'm like, "Oh, go fuck him!" Like he's mad. You're it's, cr- crazy. it's not that I want her to fuck Drake. I just know he's that accessible. You ever heard of manifestation? He knows about that. Everything he say come to life. <laughs> and, and he keeps I'm saying, saying shit. No, that's I, the crazy shit. I'm just self aware. I understand. <laughs> self aware your manifestation. He is that ex- accessible right now. If I was with a girl and she was like, "Oh my god, I want to fuck Beyonce," I'm not gonna say go fuck Beyonce, like because you can't. You re- I mean, I don't know what they do. You might be able to, but I don't think there is as easy of a pathway to get to a Beyonce as there is a Drake. Drake is the most accessible superstar that I've known. Pers- like, and let me not say I don't know Drake personally, but my experience and the people that I know that can get to Drake and that have been access or have had access to Drake is second to none. Right, like we've been in this space for a long time. I'm sure you got a Drake story. I'm sure you got a Drake story, and maybe not personally, but you know somebody that's been in contact or been to a party or been in a section or whatever the case may be. When it comes to Drake, he makes himself that accessible, right? And so I don't put it past him to scroll on his phone or to get uh, 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 somebody to reach out to him and say, "Hey, uh, the TDE artists are coming to t- Toronto. What do you want to do, man?" And he's like, yeah, fuck them niggas. They can't come here. But that's how I think it happens, though. Yeah. I think it's other people are part of the shit. Like, let's hit the boy, see what he on. I, I could definitely see that. I ain't going to. What was the, the was the venue's name? History? Yes, History. He he helped design History. Then, mm-hmm. oh, man. So like he definitely he's got strong ties in, with, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if I'm part owner in History and I know Drake helped design this shit, I would make the call myself. I wouldn't even have to call Drake. I would make the call right then and there. You're like, like, oh, they're not coming here. Yeah, no, it's dead. <laughs> Granted, though, that's the thing. See, DJ Scheme, all them cats, Scheme, that's a simple guy. That's Florida. So I'm sure they really weren't, they didn't really have their eyes open. They weren't mm-hmm. really thinking about it. But they should have remembered the relationship between XXX and Drake. 